So I'm back and this time I am here to speak on the September favorites. Um, I see a lot of favorites done here on YouTube and it's usually for those who have loose hair but I was like you know I don't see any September or any monthly favorites for the women that have protective styles. So here I am doing uh, my favorites for protective styling. So we're going to get right into it. The first thing I love is the Organic Root Stimulator Herbal Cleanse Dry Shampoo. Uh, this is a brand new bottle. Um, I have a bottle but it has like that much in it and there's really no point of me bringing that out. Uh, I've actually used this product on and off for many, many, many years and I like it. Um, it has an applicator tip, so what you do is you squeeze it right onto your scalp and then you massage it in and you come back with either a wet washcloth or a wet towel, whatever your choice is, and you kind of rub the residue off. It smells um, like lavender. It says it has sweet basil uh, in it. I didn't smell sweet basil. Um, kind of has an alcoholic type smell to it as well, but it leaves my hair real clean. I'm not going to complain. The second um, favorite for protective style would be the medicated Next Timage 5-in-1 itch-free conditioner. It says it's great for twists and extensions. Itch-free, dandruff-free, dry-free, oil-free, odor-free. Has um, olive oil, jojoba oil, shea butter, and tea tree. My beauty supply store was actually out of the African Pride one that I love. So I decided to give this one a go. And it actually works just as well. Um, it has a tea tree oil smell to it. Um, I guess that's the medicated part. Not real sure. Um, it looks alright. It does have uh, mineral oil in it. Uh, but it has um, shea butter, of course, tea tree oil, pine oil, pine needle oil, lime, anise, cedar oil, clove oil, um, and that sort of thing. Like I said, water and glycerin is in it. Works well. I'm not complaining. Um, this actually should be in a video that I'm going to make uh, speaking about my staple favorite items. This is... Jamaican black castor oil and if you don't know about Jamaican black castor oil you better ask somebody you better google you better Facebook it you better tweet it something this is amazing okay it's not that castor oil that you will find in the medication aisle at the Walmart um, I have yet to find this on the ground locally I actually ordered mine uh, on Amazon when I was over in Japan and this stuff is the truth um, it's got it's not white it's like a yellowy kind of can you see that yellowy kind of tint to it and it smells very very nutty I actually don't put this on my scalp per se because I have other things for that which we'll get to I put this on my edges because I've noticed for me that when I am in a protective style, my edges seem to be a little light. And so it's just something that I do. I put it around my hairline. I also put a little of this on my eyebrows. Um, my eyebrows are thin and they're kind of sparse. And what I do is I use a MAC. Um, brow powder to fill them in. But that's either here nor there. I actually got that tip from the lady that threads my eyebrows. I've been using it for about a month or so on my eyebrows and I have seen a change in, you know, the fullness thickness. So hopefully one day I will never have to fill them in again. But until then, me and Mac have a understanding with that brow powder. The last item that I love is actually a handmade product shout out to my girl Kim from journey to my roots here on YouTube she makes this awesome product called quench okay this is my third 
This is my third order. My daughter and I, our hair absolutely loves this. It's all handmade and it takes, you know, a little while to get your um, product from her, but I don't mind waiting because the product is such a superior product. Um, like I said, it's all handmade. She has her ingredients listed here on the back. And I will read them to you. It's everything that I can pronounce. Uh, it's African shea butter, natural carrier oil, aloe vera, cholesterol, vegetable glycerin, vitamin E, minoxidil 2%, essential oils, natural preserve, and love. And this stuff smells like heaven. Besides from newborn babies, this stuff smells like heaven. <sighs> it's usually yellow. I haven't seen it in any other color but yellow, so I'm going to assume she uses yellow shea butter. And it has a peppermint stick in the middle so you can um, mix it if you want to. It gives it more of a, of, of a, a pepperminty, I'm sorry, a, a cinnamon uh, smell, but it does smell like peppermint. And it's it's like a souffle kind of this stuff is amazing and I am a true believer that this stuff works um, I love it and this is not just my September favorite it is my all the time favorite so Kim girl you're doing the most you're doing you're doing it girl you are doing it and I see you I see you so that is all for uh, my September favorites um, let me know what you think. Um, if you are using the black castor oil, if you are, uh, look, if you're using, uh, the dry shampoo, let me know what your thoughts are. If you're using quench, let me know. Okay. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.